All right. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Smith Victor tripod legs. So I'm just going to be going over the pros and cons of them. Okay, so first off, the first pro is they're only $80, which is pretty nice for the tripod legs. And they're fairly heavy, which is honestly a pro and a con. I'll get to that later. Uh, they're very sturdy. And honestly, this uh, the, like crank thing that you can put your, tri your uh, tripod head on top of is fairly sturdy when you lock it down which honestly this is my first tripod that I had that uh, is fairly sturdy all the other ones are very like flimsy and plasticky which is really nice on this one um, another pro is the uh, the legs are marked see the first drop down of the legs is marked and this helps you easily level it out there are a couple cons um so first off these leg adjustments are kind of cumbersome to tighten and sometimes they don't tighten all the way and they kind of slide a little bit so um so there's that these are little leg knobs sometimes they they land on the ground and they're kind of like curved and stuff which a little bit annoying, but okay. but the main downside to this is this is as low as it can possibly go. It goes around um, knee-ish, a little bit above the knee, and then with a tripod head on top, it it's quite a bit uh, tall on the tall side, so you can't get too many low angle shots with this tripod. However. It is only 80 bucks and it's a fairly heavy duty one. It can hold 25 pounds. I think that the pros outweigh the cons. So I would suggest this tripod to anyone. However, it is fairly heavy, so if you plan to do a lot of traveling or like run and gun type stuff, um, this isn't exactly the best tripod, but if you have, say, a you want to do some like slider shots this is great to put your slider on um, this is great for drama films and those kind of things um, not quite a documentary type tripod maybe a interview tripod um, or studio tripod so yeah thanks for watching